all right, I have a flight in one hour. I just recorded this video. I got to do it again. Boxer Movement Club. Vroom, 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 vroom. Box, 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 box. If you want some race day merchandise, all right. I know you guys want the most races pick impossible, but it's going to be about who wins this time around. Head over to ASone.io for the best CS2 cans on the market. Race zones, Londis 10 for 10% off. Let's get into the pick em. The thing that a reason I have to re record is because the 3 0 teams to get through, apparently, this pick em I just learned from the comments of the video I just had to private is that you do not get points for the 3 0 teams that advance with a loss or a couple of losses, unlike the last major. So I'm not sure if I explained that correctly. In previous majors, if you picked a, uh, if you picked a, a team that went 3-0 and put them in this six, you would get the point if they 3-0'd. But in the way that the bracket works now, you basically got to be perfect about it. So I've got some new pickums here, and this is actually way more fun. And now every every pick matters, and you don't have to play it safe. And you don't. I don't have to. I don't have to uh, preface that by saying like here are the safe picks. Okay, so here are my three two picks, three zero oh picks. Excuse me. And the one caveat this time is here's who I think is the best team. Okay, right here. And uh, a lot of these teams in the top six listed are are competing for that spot. I think seed helps a ton when it comes to these matchups because Eternal Fire Heroic and uh, Cloud Nine are one, two, and three. Not that order exactly but i think that uh, even if eternal fire and uh, heroic end up in a matchup getting a point here is pretty big i think these two teams are very likely to go through i just think that cloud nine are very likely to make it through there is a chance they could definitely 3-0 uh but um i think in terms of who's the best teams i'm literally going from best now to who i think are are the weaker teams or who are not quite as good um who still should make it so I'm going to put Saw right there. I have to now draw on who the other two teams I think will make it through are. Um, and I think Mongols, I will definitely believe in them to actually squeeze out a final spot here. Furia flew through the America's RMR and they beat Liquid and Complexity. So that's the most legitimate run of any of the teams there. The Mongols destroyed everybody the Asian RMR. They averaged an average like round loss of like one or something. They boot cap in Europe a ton. They took their wins Katowice. I know they can compete even though they aren't consistently beating top teams. This challenger stage is right, I think, in their wheelhouse and skill level in terms of who they could consistently potentially win against depending on their matchups. So I will have Mongols making it through. I love this pick already so much more, I won't lie. Um, and then Legacy and Pain are still my 0-3 picks. I think they are most likely to lose in the first round, which gives them a high chance of ending up in the 0-2 which gives them a high chance of actually losing and, and giving an 0-3 point. So these are going to be my pick -ems. As far as I can see right now, um, there is still no reason to suddenly flip on teams like Lin Vision or Koi, who could be 0-3 teams for you. These are good substitutions, potentially. And then you have teams like Imperial, who did an ex excellent job at the NAR Mar, but in my opinion, will be overrated in terms of skill coming into play against European teams because their recent matches are not versus European teams. Then you have teams like MCAL, who, like, cool cool that they made it uh, that they made it him and and nine pandas it's very cool that they made it but we're talking about an lcq win for nine pandas you know glowing is almost 35 now that the uh, last event has passed so we don't know how much time is left then we know for amcal their overpass is absolutely fraudulent but they still were good in some spots ecstatic are a danish team five danes right five danes the pgl copenhagen major 2024 would not be right without five Danes on one team making it through, right? That's true. Uh, but unfortunately, life isn't fair. So I'm not sure if they will make it through. Um, if in terms of picking them over any other team here, it would be Apex for me. The only thing about Apex for me is I know that they actually went to play with Stiko again, I think in part because they didn't, then it just like helped them keep their spot. So it was sort of a, not a force change, but they, you know, they originally cut him from the team, brought him back and it worked. They got to the major. Maybe you shouldn't have cut Stiko. Maybe you should learn your lesson. Okay. Maybe that's the lesson ultimately, but that's all to say that this team is not necessarily exactly where they want to be. I don't know how else to put that. Uh, so there's someone where I think ecstatic could potentially take their place and they're going to be, I mean, they are playing with some 
passion. I mean, listen, the catering is going to be food that they eat every day, right? For breakfast, they're going to be eating, um, fucking, they're going to be drinking gooseberry juice. They're going to be having, um, rogo maflod whenever they want on demand catering. Probably they're going to be breathing in Danish air. There's got to be some advantage with that. The Copenhagen air outside the Royal arena. Um, they're going to be quote, very close to their parents. You know, when they talk to their parents over the phone because they miss them so bad because they're at their major, there's very low latency because they're just right down the street. So they get instant sort of perfect communication with their families. Um, all their friends and fa all the friends are going to come there. You know, maybe they'll drop them off some food, maybe they'll drop them off some clothes, drop them off some gifts. Zippel's going to be right there. All the old uh, ecstatic and um, team and maybe in the skin bid team, you know, only pixel stream is going to be incredibly biased in their favor man i'm actually thinking of, maybe we could do that actually that's fucking wild i just convinced myself so why don't we just squeeze in listen we know we know what this channel is about okay i don't need the dog whistle about it anymore but i will by not saying it at all we want a danish team at this major in the in the challenger stage i actually just talked myself into that i'm, I'm down let's get uh ecstatic in baby if this is the the pick that cost me if this is the pick that cost me, just kidding. That's a loose one. We're going to have nine out of 10. We can afford to lose this one. No, I'm just kidding. But seriously, who wants to win more ecstatic or apex ecstatic have cold water to jump into for their cold plunge. Okay. It's going to be very hygge in Denmark here for ecstatic and ecstatic. Um, they're going to be able to talk to everybody in Danish. You know what I mean? Uh, the advantages are just popping into my mind, the amount of advantages right now. So, like, they want it, okay? My main concern against them was, like, they don't get the crowd energy before the crowd comes. But the crowd might be bad, actually. Who knows? You know, it might be too much pressure. At least the thought of getting to the crowd. Maybe that's just enough, all right? So, okay, ecstatic to legend stage. Let's go, man. Let's make it a run. Um, and that's it. I'm very happy with O3. I'm very happy with... Um, the majority of pickums in general and yeah, you need five to advance. So hope you love that um, by the way just wanted to uh, Plug the land that I'm running. Okay, it's nothing I'm not trying to sell you anything except for tickets to my land because I am hosting a $10,000 32 team local land in Toronto we are trying our best to revive the scene. We ran a local LAN in January of this year. It was 16 teams. It was completely sold out. And uh, we had 105 players on the wait list to get into the LAN. So successful that uh, me and Rivalry partnered up again to go for another LAN. 32 teams. All of the team slots are already sold out. It is 19 plus. There is a bar there. There's catering. Let me give you a little bit of a tour right now. This is the venue. It's going to be a 500-person venue. All these seats can be filled for spectators. We're going to have a massive screen right here to watch the games on. And uh, back here, we're going to have a boxer booth, rivalry booth, as well as melee setups for people to play friendlies on. We got some melee heads running this thing. Casting. This is going to be insane, okay? We're going to be casting over here. Everyone's coming down. People are driving in. People are flying in. Don't worry if you don't want to play because it's too late to even get a team slot, okay? If you are in the Toronto area, April 20th, 21st, come to the biggest local land Toronto, Canada has ever seen with the most infrastructure for spectators. It's going to be a hell of a time. We're going to get drunk, play games, watch CS, talk shit all weekend, all right? So thanks. Just wanted to throw that in there. So don't want to make it its own video. Thank you for watching the opening stage pickums. These are my updated pickums. And thank you to the comments for alerting me that the, the, stage has changed because I actually didn't realize it makes sense that it's 10 0 now. So yeah. All right. Uh, good luck to everybody. Hope you enjoy the major. I am Launders. If you don't know me, I'm a commentator. I will be commentating at this major and I'm heading to Denmark. Literally my flight is in 30 minutes. I have to go. Well, I have to leave for my flight in 30 minutes. So I got to pack up and then I'll be back this month. We'll be uploading the Pickums videos and uh, Vivid is learning a new program to edit with so i gave him a video on rookies that's going to come out on the first and that'll be the next big commentary video so if you missed the last one go ahead and check out this one on uh, simple will simple falcons work that was really great thank you guys so much for an amazing month on youtube you know just reminding me that i love youtube more than anything and uh it's just it's just been really great so i'm going to continue the uploads stick around for legends i'll upload very fast when that comes and we don't have much time to do it so 
be quick about checking the video. So thanks for watching. Um, be safe out there. Hope to see you at the LEN and uh, have fun watching the major. See us for life.